Hi friends, I'm so happy I get to see you here again today. Today's lesson is a little different. This lesson has three different videos. This video is the beginning of this week's lesson. Then I want you to watch a video from a movie. Then there's another video of me to finish out the lesson. It is easiest if you go to YouTube and select November 1st service playlist. Then you can select the first K5 video to start and then it will automatically play the rest of the lesson for you. All right, let's get started. We have been learning about the fruit of the spirit in the past couple months. We've explored how the fruit of the spirit helps us to show love, have joy, feel peace, show patience, and to show kindness. Today, we are going to add goodness to our fruit of the spirit. To represent goodness, we are going to use apples. We use apples to represent goodness because apples are just so good for us. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, right? Just like the apple is good for us, goodness means to be morally good for God. We can grow in our goodness by staying close to God and remembering His goodness. When you see this banana, would you like to eat it for a snack? No, why not? <laughs> it looks pretty gross, doesn't it? Jesus said that you could know a tree by the kind of fruit it gives. Good fruit comes from good trees, and bad fruit comes from the bad trees. Jesus was telling us that if we do good things, it is because we have his good Holy Spirit inside us to help us. It's not always easy to be good. Sometimes we get tempted. Let's watch a scene from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. This scene focuses on a boy named Charlie. Charlie and his family are very poor. Charlie has just won a ticket that earns him a spot on a tour of the mysterious Wonka Chocolate Factory. However, chances are that after the tour, things will go back to normal for Charlie and his family, unless something unusual happens. Let's see what this unusual thing could be. 